morning everyone. I'm Dr. Neeta Rati from Vital Clinic, New Delhi, India. Now, today we will be talking about puffy eyes. That means there is some swelling under the eye. Now this swelling under the eye has got multiple reasons. If it is temporary, that means when you get up in the morning, you see some swelling, but as the day progresses, it goes down, it gets corrected. So that is temporary. That means because of either inadequate sleep or it could be because of overwork in the daytime. Like if person is doing too much of computer work or too much of work where more eye concentration is required. So in that case, there is some strain in the eyes and there could be some swelling or it could be like if a person or it could be like when there is slight amount of anemia that means lack of blood hemoglobin is low in that case also you may have some darkness some puffiness under the eyes or if a person has passed through illness and in the recuperating phase post illness may some may people may see some sort of uh, puffiness under the eyes. Now these are all temporary. That means it is visible at some time but later in the day it is it gets cleared off. But this is not of too much concern. But the my one which we are more worried about is the puffiness which is present under the eyes even if when we get up in the morning and it persists the whole day. That is called as puffy eyes. Now there are two reasons for it. One is when there is some fluid accumulation like water retention in the body. In that case also there is some swelling under the eyes but then that becomes waxing and waning like sometimes it appears more sometimes it appears less. The second which is the more uh, concerned problem is there is fat accumulation under the eyes right this fat is the retrobulbar fat which gradually seeps down in the under eye area and since the skin here is very loose and thin it gets collected here so now how to how to correct it how to correct it because correction is very important now if it is a temporary sort of a puffiness of the eyes one should take care of the sleep pattern the work pattern to give rest to the eyes in when you are doing long works or more strenuous works where eye concentration is required for a longer period of time and but uh, when the puffiness or correct check your hemoglobin see whether the uh, hemoglobin is low so one should take some iron supplements or uh, show to a physician or you can show to us uh, so that we can check it up and advise accordingly now second is the puffiness which is present on a permanent basis like it is there all the time whether it is morning or it is evening or now that correction has got two modalities of correction the first and foremost or which can give you a permanent correction is surgical way that is we call it blepharoplasty the lower blepharoplasty the lower blepharoplasty means that it's a surgical procedure done under tumescent local anesthesia takes about two and a half hours to do and you go home immediately after the procedure and it is done for all it's like the correction will be for always because we remove the fat number one number two we uh, even remove the extra skin which is there leading to some wrinkles or looking the eyelid looks tired so that is also corrected simultaneously the second way is non-surgical way which gives you correction to quite an extent this is called as reform crf that means now this skin because it has loosened up over the time and because of puffiness it is like it's bulging out so the length of the skin has increased so when we do reform crf that is half an hour session once in 15 days six sessions in total 
then it can correct the lower eyelid, reform the skin and it gets firmed out. So thank you friends. Uh, if you have any query, you can call us at Vital Clinic. The number is 2625-2333. I repeat, 11 Thank you and bye-bye.